Hi, I'm Judy Herman, helping leaders and families create connection beyond conflict. I'm checking in early today. Just wanted to do a quick check-in about why I believe spiritual retreats and getting away are really good for your soul. First of all, I'd like to hear if anybody is here and you already have a spiritual retreat plan in place and you normally do that, I'd love to hear about it. But here's what I wanted to share with you. And there's actually three reasons to do a retreat, to do some self-care, and to get away from your daily grind. Number one, it's good for the brain. Number two, it's good for you, your soul. And number three, it's good for your relationships. I wanted to share last week, it was Thursday through Sunday, and I went away to one of my friend's um, cabins. It's, it was a bed and breakfast. And it was like walking into the turn of the century. It was really neat. There was no cell service or internet service. And the first few hours, I've got to admit, I felt just a teeny bit bored. I thought, oh my goodness, what do I do? I actually had a plan of what I wanted to do and things that I wanted to read. Um, but it's really interesting that you can go away and when you're away from all of the technology and the information and the bombardment of, of what our brains go through, how you can be so centered and living in the moment. It was wonderful. I sat on our front porch and I watched the birds. It was Hummingbird Haven, by the way, if you wanted to look up her place. And uh, it was beautiful. It was like I was living every moment in the moment and in the present. So number one is great for the brain. Our brains need a rest from technology and it's hard to do that otherwise. Secondly, it is great for us uh, tuning into our souls spiritually. I am a Christian and I just really take in how much God loves me. And when I'm away, I'm just saying, okay, here I am, Lord. And taking time just alone just to be and to know that I'm deeply loved by God. It has been very nurturing. Thirdly, it's great for relationships. When I come back from my retreats, it's like I am more attuned, more patient, more attuned with the heart of those that I love the most, my husband, my children, those that are closest to me and my family. And so it really does them a huge favor. That's what I wanna encourage you to do is to take time. A lot of people come to me and they think, oh, if I did that, I, there's no way I could take that much time away from my business or my family or whatever. But, or you might think, well, this is a selfish thing to do. In reality, it's not selfish to nurture what, who you are as a human being because you are the gift to your loved ones and to those whom you influence. So I wanna encourage you to do that. I hope this is helpful to you and I'd love to share more, but in the meantime, write down what are your ideas? What do you normally do to refresh your soul and to be able to get back into making sure your batteries are recharged? All right, look, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, bye-bye.